MTD have travelled north to County Durham where we're going to interview Mike Bloomer, Managing Director of Blue Chip Limited, on how he's managed to create a niche for high-end machining in this area. Hi Mike, many thanks for taking your time out of your busy day today. I've had a look around the machine shop, we've got many complex components and the one we're going to talk about today is this one. I just wondered how you go about tooling up something as complex as that. Well what, what we did, uh, we got the model and the drawings sent up from the customer and then after in, inspecting the model what we did, I, I called in uh, my tool rep because I use a lot of LMT tools and I knew there was a lot of tapping and, and drilling on it and uh, the, the tool I use is LMT and they're, they're experts in thread rolling and I thought it was a good application for thread rolling rather than cut tapping with them being very small uh, and then we went through it myself and the rep and he took some drawings away and we went through all the cutters that we could use and the different styles and he came back with an optimised uh, cutter package for us to, okay, so to, it's to not discuss. just it's not just the roll taps. It it's the drill. It, it it's it's doing all this interpolation yes, as well. Yes, all of the all of the features we decided on. Like we do a lot of um, plunge milling, as well as traversing, in in what you would call traditional milling. This is this is the stock we need to remove, which we first mill off with a forty-five traditional cutter, and then once we've done that, we we drill the basic cavities, and then we use plunge plunge milling to take, take out all of the sequences and there's a, there's a small wall in here which we need to plunge mill around Be because of the, the depth of the cavity we can't just mill it, it would snap the cutters and so what we do we, we plunge mill and then we finish profile it with a carbide cutter down at the bottom with a one millimeter radius on then we size everything then we drill it, tap it with roll taps, engrave where required, and then the last operation is to face mill it with a, a 0.25 cut with a diamond inserted cutter to finish the component off. Uh, what we do is we use a high helix milling where we ramp into the part to form the cavities in, in the corners because otherwise you would need to get more cutters and it's just as quick. We actually go in at like 800 feet and we, for every revolution we go down eight millimeters. Impressive, Im impressive. Any swarf issues or is that evacuated? No, it's only a two fluid cutter. We tried a three fluid cutter and it actually started to clog. So we, we opted for a two fluid cutter which evacuates the swarf fine. The surface finish on the top is achieved by using a diamond till what we call a PCD face mill. Um, the, the customer required a really excellent finish to prevent leakage of radio frequency and the, the best answer to that was LMT came up with, with a diamond till with uh, eight teeth and we just take a, a 0.25 millimeter cut across the top at the end of the process and that gives like a ground finish equivalent. So presumably we're face milling with traditional 45 degree yeah. carbide inserts where they're drilling out these pockets yes. and then we're joining the pockets up with a solid carbide end mill yeah. um, and then we're drilling and tapping yeah. and then PCD face mill yeah. to get that outstanding finish and that's all and done with LMT tooling. That's all done with LMT tooling and the, the interesting thing is the diamond finish goes across and we actually don't need to deburr after, it leaves no, no like um, burrs. On the, on the top of the job. So Mike, you've seen these complex components, happy with LMT, use them again in the future? Yes, I certainly would. They've been, they've been very good from start to finish and, and the ongoing support if I needed any technical help. They're just on the, they're only a phone call away and they're always willing to help. Okay, great. So if you've got complex prismatic components or any components, why not give the guys at LMT a try?